Okay, welcome to this video. In this video, we're, we will actually uh, use uh, the equivalent series and parallel uh, resistance uh, formulas that we've developed in previous videos to do some computing of equivalent resistances. So the first example that we'll do is the one that's on the screen now. This is what's called a ladder network and actually has um, quite a bit of use. It turns out that um, you can use a ladder network uh, to take a given voltage and from that uh, get uh, voltage references that you need for an analog to digital converter. And some analog to digital converters are built this way. So um, our goal here is to find the equivalent resistance of all of these, uh, basically all of these resistors that we have here. Sometimes you'll see this as the equivalent, written as the equivalent resistance looking into the network. Another, other times you'll see this discussed as the equivalent resistance between the two terminals of the network. In any case, we want to find the equivalent resistance of this guy. And again, the way we will do this is by finding series and parallel combinations of resistors and combining them into equivalent resistors and going from there. So. If we look at this circuit, we want to find either a series or a parallel uh, combination of series or parallel resistors. And uh, if you look at these last two resistors here, those two resistors are in series. How do we know that? Well, again, if you think of yourself as being an electron that's, or some other charge carrier that's moving along, you go through the 1K ohm resistor here you turn the corner and you have to go through the other 1k ohm resistor. Uh, there is no alternate path for the current. Uh, any current that goes through the 1k ohm, the upper 1k ohm resistor goes through the lower 1k ohm resistor. So uh, since these are series resistors, we have then that um, the equivalent resistance is going to be 1k ohm plus 1k ohm which is 2k ohms. So what this means now is that from the point of view of everything else in the circuit, which for right now would be everything except these two 1k ohm resistors that I have circled in orange, I can replace these two 1k ohm resistors with a single 2k ohm resistor. So let's do that. Okay. So we have then our single two K ohm resistor. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is again find either a series or parallel combination of resistors uh, that I can uh, come up with an equivalent resistor. And the only thing that is there is the combination of these two resistors. You'll notice that they both are connected to that top node and that bottom node. Since they're both connected between the same two nodes, then they're parallel resistors. The equivalent resistance of these parallel resistors would be the product of the resistances divided by, whoops, got ahead of myself, divided by the sum of the resistances. And again, if you're not uh, happy working with the prefixes K, M, and so on, uh, you can well, you need to get happy with it, so practice it, but you can write this as 2,000 times 2,000 over 2,000 plus 2,000. A better way to write this would be 2 times 10 to the third times 2 times 10 to the third divided by 2 times 10 to the third plus 2 times 10 to the third. And so you can 
you can plug this expression into a calculator. You can actually work this guy by hand, the one in scientific notation. I'll do that. You get 4 times 10 to the 6th divided by 4 times 10 to the 3rd, which is 10 to the 3rd, which is 1 k ohm. Okay. So, with all that computation, what we've shown is that the equivalent resistance of these two k ohm resistors in parallel is 1 k ohm. So now to continue the um, determining of the equivalent resistance of this network, I can replace these two parallel resistors with a single 1 k ohm resistor. So let's do that. Chop away all this stuff. chop away some more stuff here. And so now I can take this guy and replace it by a 1k ohm resistor. Okay, well, now I want to look for uh, a combination that I can combine again. And it looks like the only thing that I can combine would be this 1k ohm resistor with the equivalent 1k ohm resistor I've just computed. And since we've already, uh, a few minutes ago, computed the equivalent resistance of 1k ohm in series with 1k ohm, we'll just write down the answer that this is 2k ohms. Okay, so again, I can combine or eliminate the series combination of these two 1k ohm resistors. and replace them with a single 2k ohm resistor. And you can see probably where this is going. Um, if I now look for things that I can uh, combine, again, I find that I have this 2k ohm resistor and this 2k ohm resistor in parallel. So without repeating the computations that I just did for two 2k two ohm resistors in parallel, I would have the equivalent resistance here of 1k ohm. So we'll chop off the two guys. And replace them by 1k ohm. Okay, I look again to see what I can combine, and I find again that I have two 1k ohm resistors in series. So I have this guy in series with this guy again. Having already worked this particular series combination, I know that that's 2k ohms. So I will chop away the series combination. replace it with the equivalent 2k ohms and now I need to uh, see if I can combine these resistors. I have two, a 2k ohm resistor in parallel with another 2k ohm resistor so again, it turns out we've worked this one. It's 1k ohm. We can replace the parallel combination with a single resistor that has a value of 1k ohm. And we'll even get rid of this ugly brown spot here. So, there you have it. That latter uh, network of resistors has an equivalent resistance of 1k ohm. You're thinking to yourself, wow, that was a really complicated way to get 1k ohm resistance. But it turns out that the voltages and currents that you would find inside the latter network turn out to be useful. And uh, in a subsequent video, we'll probably uh, use the analysis techniques we're developing to find out what those voltages and currents are. 
So this concludes this video on computing the equivalent resistance of a ladder network.